Hello. So, we're back, finally. Uh, 2022. I uh, just want to <laughs> wish everyone a belated Happy New Year and uh, just give you a quick back story so um, I can kind of get into what the meat of this video is about. About a year ago, Chris and I started looking at uh, getting a, a caravan because up until recently we were sleeping in the back of a four-wheel drive, which is fine, but you can only uh, fit so much into the back of a four-wheel drive, so it was starting to get a, a little bit cramped. And to be honest, uh, we, we didn't really have the space to get anything uh, uh, substantial, so um, we looked at some of the small ones and decided uh, you know what, it might be actually better looking at some of these camper trailers, which is essentially a trailer with a, a tent that, that folds out forward or backwards. So once it's packed away, it's essentially no larger than a, a trailer. After the initial shock of the price of these <laughs> units, we did actually find one that we liked and we approached the manufacturer and they explained to us that there was at least a 12 month uh, waiting list for, for one of these units so we decided to put it on the back burner for a little while and then Christine was watching some YouTube videos and came across some units uh, that people had sort of uh, done themselves but they were essentially just a tradies trailer uh, with a tent fold our tent on top very similar to this unit here so we thought well you know why don't we give that a try so we're not builders in in any way neither of us are structural engineers or have any real experience of uh, of building anything in the past but um, we thought well we'll give it a go you know there seems to be a few people out there doing it and um, we'll, we'll just see what we come up with so we um, we went and bought a tandem trailer and the main reason we went for tandem is because stability these units are quite sturdy on the road especially with the four wheels there they're going to go in a straight line <laughs> then they're not going to sit there and sort of wobble around so anyway we bought one of these units uh it, it's quite large so it's about two and a half meters long by about one and a half meters wide which is is plenty uh, for, for what we wanted to do so so yeah so we picked one of these up just before Christmas and then I kind of you know now having the inner dimensions uh, set off to to come up with something which allowed me to then you know use a, a 3d program something similar to you know this one here so so this is 3D Builder. It actually comes with Windows. Uh, it is a an extra install if it's not already installed. Yeah, it's it's just mostly used for 3D printing. So if you design up a model. But anyway, so this is kind of what we decided we wanted to do. We we thought we'll have one side of it which is kind of set with carpet and you know these pull-out drawers. So we've actually gone with a standard size here which Bunnings and, and Ikea and the likes have this uh, cube system where you just put together some shelves and then you, you buy these off-the-shelf cubes which you can put anything in clothing um, you know kitchenware etc uh, you can also buy drawer inserts which we've actually done um, you'll see that later in the video so we got a drawer insert, you can also get mesh, you know, chain uh, metal inserts and that kind of thing. So, so again, we went with sort of more of a um, casual sort of side and then we've gone with a kitchen side. So we just went with a, you know, a standard four burner um, barbecue from Bunnings. We also went with a full size sink. So that's a, essentially a, a single basin kitchen sink. And we have a 75 litre um, fridge freezer unit. So, so yeah, so once I, I had the design, I was able to essentially uh, work through and build the frame virtually. I'm just going to pull some of this stuff out just to give you an idea. 
So I'm just going to pull that floor off. So as you can see, sort of sitting under there, you can see this uh, wooden frame here. So being able to do this virtually, it, it actually gave me a good idea of how much wood would require. There's actually a 75 litre water tank sitting here as well. Uh, uh, so that's just a standard caravan type. Just going to put this stuff back down. But So what we thought was we'd put the barbecue on a rail. So that actually slides out approximately to there. Uh, due to the design of the lid and the trailer, it actually locks in place. So once it's out, it won't slide back in by accident. So, which is a good thing, uh, and it's a sort of a happy accident. For the moment, this blue cylinder actually represents the gas tank. We currently have it sort of strapped in the back here. Just, I'm just going to move this floor again. So, it's temporarily being stored in, in this unit here. We will have slide out drawers that come out the back. So those have not been done at the moment. But it's again it's all sort of in flux and again you'll see it you'll see it later in the video. So now that we had uh, this design that as I said allowed me to um, to essentially lay the wood down that I, I was going to require for the, the frame. So now I've, you know, we went and bought all of these lengths of wood and essentially cut them roughly to size. One of the downsides to having um, a, a real unit in place versus a, a, a virtual design is um, things aren't always exact. So, you know, something might be a centimeter out here and, and a few millimeters out there so there was a little bit of wobble but but again you know the, the final unit is is pretty polished so a lot of this stuff you don't actually see under the floor we didn't actually do a time lapse of the build but uh, we do have some snapshots of, of different stages of, of the build so I'll give you a bit of a slideshow and then I'll I'll give you a a final run through video uh, of the unit actually set up uh, with tent and in fact we we ended up getting a a large annex to go with the tent so in reality we have as much floor space as far as I'm concerned as any caravan that's out there but anyway so let's get into the the slideshow and I'll just talk you through it after picking it up this Christine uh, laying in the trailer to get a rough idea of the size. This is the beginning of the, the frame that we started putting together. It's just construction pine. Just rough fitting the fridge into the unit uh, just to get an idea of whether the sizes were realistic. We now have the water tank in place and the fridge roughly in place. Sitting the, the sink in place just to get a, a feel for you know how it's gonna to look and feel. A swan made out of sawdust in the side in the roof of the trailer. This is rough fitting some of the, the bench top on the the miscellaneous side. Again, rough fitting. Uh, that's just one of the, the doors, one of the hatches. In fact, that's where the batteries will end up. This is the barbecue on the slide in place, so that's actually been fitted there. This is after we've built the shelving unit. That's one of the cubes that I mentioned earlier actually slotted in place. Again, just a different angle of, of the cube system, and um, that's from the fridge fridge side. The tent on the top, so we ended up going with a fold-out tent, and we've set it up to fold out the back. Again, just another shot of the, the tent on the roof, so it's, it's quite, quite compact. 
This is a 300 watt solar system that I've set up on the front there. I just built a frame out of stuff from Bunnings. That's the sink that I mentioned earlier, so that's a full size sink. This is actually testing the sink. The pump's in place now, I've got power, etc. <laughs> and drain. This is actually undercoating the shelving system, so we're just ready to paint now. It's after painting, so we have to go on with a black. I'm painting the hatches. Sticking carpet down, and this is putting some of the fittings in, so the, the, the hatch latches. Carpet's done, so now you're getting a sort of, it's starting to come together. Tiles are done, so this is the kitchen side, so we now have a tiled side and a carpeted side. Again, just another shot of the kitchen with the tiles, etc. So now we'll move on to the, the visual. So this is kind of the, the, the side that has um, drawers and carpet and that kind of stuff. So it's so all constructed with building timber. And uh, yeah, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, we've already taken it for a bit of a spin, but anyway, so I've got a, a couple of 100 amp hour energy batteries. I've got a 300 watt system. I'll show you in a moment. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is actually build some drawers in the back here that slide out the rear. But yeah, so this is kind of the electronics panel here, which is the energy charge controller. Uh, that's a 2000 watt inverter. There's a Bluetooth module and some other stuff which I'll show you on the other side. There's also a Bluetooth module inside the battery area. Fuse panel, etc. So, yeah. But this just kind of <laughs> helps us a lot. This is just storage. Uh, at the moment, we. Um, we don't have much in there, but yeah, trust me, there's plenty of storage. We're not going to run out. And like I said, we were sleeping in the Pajero, so so this is a huge. This thing is a little bit short, so she needs a little bit of a step there. It's just a help, help a little step. Yeah, so this is more the kitchen side. So what we have here is we've got a um, fridge freezer. 75 litres, so it's it's quite quite large. This is currently set to um, minus 18 degrees, uh, well sorry, minus 15 and uh, 4. So, um, and this, oh, look at those old bananas. Yeah, but it's got, uh, you know, with the inverter, we've got um, 240 volts, so we can run things like, you know, full size kettle, we've got toaster and the rest of it. This is a, a, a kitchen sink, so um, that actually just has a drain that goes to a pipe that runs sort of out and under. Oh, and then we got the, the barbecue, so the barbecue is actually in a rail. So it comes out and just kind of folds up like that. Um, we have a rotisserie unit. I just thought that might be interesting, so we can um, do some some rotisserie cooking. But yeah, so this is the kitchen, and we thought, well, why don't we uh, now that we've got this tradies trailer, we'll um, go and we'll actually put a, uh, a tent on the roof. So we've now got a fold-out tent <laughs> and this a six million annex. So. See, so yeah, it's got a bit of size to it. You know, it's kind of on par with the 
only a small caravan. Yeah, we slept in it last night for the first time and um, it was quite comfortable. In fact, it was rock solid. We went with some options like we have the, the trailer stabilizers. So once we sort of level it, put those down and yeah, you wouldn't even know it was, um, wasn't on the ground. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of it. We're, um, and we're pretty happy with it. Yeah, it's very solid. Uh, it's been over some harsh terrain already. And like I said, so there will be some drawers here and here, and they'll sort of slide out the back. We've just gone with, you know, our Bunnings sort of carpet squares, and uh, just cut those to size. And on the other side, we went just with the, um, again, again, the Bunnings um, tiles. So under the sink here, like I said, there's some plumbing under here, but that's a 70 litre water system. And we have a, a 1979 Shore Flow water pump. <laughs> we, we used to have a uh, houseboat years ago and we had some old stuff sort of left over. Yeah, so there's the pipe I was talking about. This just clips together here, so... I can't do that with one hand, but... That just essentially leads out and runs out the back. Yeah, so... Gas is off at the moment. But that's it, so yeah, essentially we can just pull up now, fold out the, the tent. And these are the panels I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the um, the solar panels. I just made up a frame, again it's from Bunnings, so this is uh, just that slotted angle of steel. So I built a frame and mounted those in. It does fold up so it can go up to 90 degrees. At the moment I have it strapped. But this rock solid too. I mean we had this you know coming down the freeway, nothing moved at all. So all rock solid. Yeah, so that's that's it. Yeah. Uh, the lighting is currently just done with some um, we have some LED strips that run sort of under, but uh, although they don't look super bright sort of at the moment, when it's dark they're, they're you know, quite enough. Just wanted to give you a look at um, what it looks like lit up. So as I mentioned earlier, just two LED strips in there. Kitchen. So that's the end of our virtual tour. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And yes, there will be some gold videos very shortly. I did find some gold uh, on this weekend. So I'll be working on those in the next few days.
Good luck to you all, and I hope to see you out in the fields one day.